Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. We are here at Mobile World Congress 2015 in Barcelona in Spain. And this is a show that used to be about mobile handsets, mobile phones and a few apps. My word, haven't things changed? I'm joined today by Eric Crevison, who is the President of Mobile Products at Corvo and also by Todd Gillenwater, who is a CTO and Vice President of Engineering also at Corvo. Gentlemen, you're very welcome. Thanks for talking to us. Let me begin with you, Eric, if I could. Sure. What are the biggest challenges do you think that the mobile device OEMs are facing at the moment? And what is Corvo doing to help in that regard? Mm. Well, it all starts with the demand for mobile data. Uh, the end users are just finding more and more ways to use their mobile devices and this is creating a real explosion in the demand for mobile data to these devices. So it puts a lot of strain on the industry to provide the data and it's resulted in the rollout of 4G LTE services to a broader number of geographies and also at higher and higher quality levels. So the OEMs themselves then uh, need to pack more and more functionality into the handsets in the RF section. This means more frequency bands, more modes. It results in just a tremendous complexity for the OEM. Uh, size is very constrained, and uh, battery life as well is, is a great challenge for them. So Corvo, what we've really focused on with our technology developments is uh, leading edge filtering, switching technologies, power amplifiers and power management, and then maybe just as important is the ability to integrate all of those very, very tightly into a compact form factor and optimize performance so our, our customers can go to market quickly and meet that in market demand. Eric, this is also for you. Um, Corvo announced the RF Flex product solutions here at Mobile World. First question is, why did you choose Mobile World to do it? The second part is, can you tell us more about the product itself and how it compares to the other product, RF Fusion, and that family of products. Yeah, thanks for the question. I'd love to uh, talk about these solutions. We're very, very excited about these new products. And we chose Mobile World to announce it because this is where our customers are, the industry is. It's a great place to introduce real leading edge technologies and, and products. So, so we're all real happy to be here and excited about the products. Uh, so to talk about the two of them, first off, RF Fusion you referenced. We, we announced it at Mobile World Congress a year ago. And uh, so we're here a year later and we're happy to announce that it's in full production today in one of the flagship devices that's being announced at, at this show. So really what Fusion is, is a very compact, highly integrated solution for, uh, for flagship models of smartphones, contains many bands of coverage and all the functionality you need with power amplifiers, filtering and high performance switching all integrated into one compact placement for the, for the OEM. So Fusion's a great, great product but it is really for the flagship line. It contains a lot of band coverage and it's very customized and highly integrated. So as we roll the 4G and LTE networks out more broadly, we find that a lot of our customers are trying to design region specific phones. So they don't need the full band coverage, but they do need a platform where they can develop many, many different products off one PC board. And that's what RFlex does. So RFlex complements RF Fusion and gives the customer the ability to have a very flexible portfolio and still very, very high performance from Corvo products. Okay, thank you, Todd. One of the big bugbears with, as you've been saying, with flagship smartphones and things like that is, there's loads of apps, there's loads of services, but it chews through the power like nobody's business, and people have to charge up very, very frequently or carry a second battery if they have a device where you can change the battery in it, which isn't always the case. Um, so extended battery life is, is important, and what people are looking for, what the consumer is looking for, certainly. Um, what does Corvo do with its RF offerings to address these needs as far as the device manufacturers are concerned? Yeah, so power is a very uh, key uh, area that we continue to invest in. Uh, with the, uh, the band proliferation, these very complex RF front ends, uh, the the losses in the front ends keep increasing year on year because of uh, the proliferation of, of all the bands. So we continue to focus on improving our filter performance, our switch performance, our RPA performance, and keep striving for better efficiency year on year as, as the proliferation of the bands move forward. You know, we're just, we're very early on in the, I would say the band proliferation. Only a few years ago, we had two, three, four bands in a phone, and now we're all up to about 40 bands in a phone today yeah. and growing. 
So the size of these front, front ends and the loss in the front ends keeps ever increasing. Okay, thank you. And staying with you, Todd, on this one as well. Again, you mentioned this just now, filtering, yeah? Um, in today's 4G devices, why is filtering important? And what does Corvo do there? Filtering allows you to operate on many different bands without interfering with each other. So you, you can have a, uh, a phone today with, we could have two downlink receivers or, or up to three receivers running at any one time while you're transmitting. So you want to make sure while you transmit that you do not interfere with yourself. And the better filtering you have, uh, the, more, the more efficient the phones are, as well as you can ensure that you get the best data link uh, during the operation. Final question to you, Eric, if I could. Um, what do you think is going to be the next big opportunity for mobile? There's a lots and lots and lots of talk, and I must say a considerable degree of hype about 5G. It's still quite a long way off, despite everything that's going on around it. The Internet of Things, massively important, machine to machine and so on. So many billion, some say 22 billion, some say 30 billion by 2020 connected. We're going to put a strain on the on, on the resource, going to, put, going to put a strain on the network and on bandwidth. And then of course there's a wearables market. And we're not just talking about silly coats with flashing lights on or anything like that, but properly wearable devices that more and more people are wearing. Fitbit type things and all sorts, exactly so. Me too, it's in my pocket. There you go, you see. So it's commonplace. So what do you think, the, the, where's the next big opportunity? Yeah, so I think it's important to realize we have a lot of opportunity right now still today. Uh, the, the rollout of LTE services is just beginning worldwide. Uh, a small fraction of the population is covered today and demand is still tremendously high. So rolling out LTE to the rest of the world's population is still several, several years of, of growth and, and opportunity. And then also we think that adding more and more uh, throughput through those networks with multi-carrier downlink, multi-carrier uplink, where we're actually using multiple frequencies at the same time, right. tremendous challenge for the industry and a lot of opportunities we roll those out. And again, this is a three, four, five year uh, rollout to do that. And then, yeah. then once we get there, as you said, 5G is coming out around that time. Yeah. So there's a lot of planning now for 5G already. At Corvo, we're very excited about it because we have an inf infrastructure and defense business that's already investing in a lot of those key technologies for infrastructure and defense applications, whether it's steerable antennas or advanced semiconductors for high frequencies of operation. All of that is already in our labs in R&D today, and Corvo will be able to bring that into the mobile side whenever the 5G systems are, are determined and the market's ready. Leaving the actual last question to you, Todd, which is to tell us about Corvo itself. You've been with the company a fair old while, you know how it's developed. What does Corvo do? That's a very broad question. Uh, <laughs> I think we do anything that's wireless, but uh, you know, Corvo has had a very short history. Uh, Corvo's been uh, around only for uh, the past two months. We became Corvo the 1st of January. Yes. Prior to that, we had two very long-term companies. RFMD was around for since about 1992 and TriQuint was around just uh, a little bit longer than that back in the, in the late 80s. So uh, we come from a very long heritage of a gallium arsenide power amplifiers, I think is where we both have our roots from. Uh, but today we have a very diverse product offering, uh, gallium arsenide, gallium nitride type PA power amplifiers, a very large switch portfolio in SOI switches, gas switches, GAN switches, as well as in the power management. Uh, anywhere from the consumer all the way through uh, the aerospace and in uh, in the in high frequency radar. So very broad product portfolio. Absolutely. Gentlemen, um, it's been a bit of a baptism fire, particularly for yes. you, Todd, because yes. you've not done a television interview before. I'll, so I'll well done for getting through it. It's not normally like this. It's normally much more civilized and quiet in a nice soundproof studio. But well done for getting through it. Really interesting stuff as well. So Todd Gillenwater and Eric Creviston, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.